on in high school <laughs> and I was just my brain went blank I moved over a bit but like just just fucking <laughs> gone but then the, this thing that happened that I like to call um, premonitions and again my doctor calls psychoactive hallucinations <laughs> <laughs> to what I said that's an odd choice of last words <laughs> Um, no, no, so sorry. I, 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 I go into this mode that's like seeing the future, what could happen. If I walked up to her, I offer her my hand, I pick her up, I say a joke to disarm the situation, she feels less embarrassed because it's not her, it was my fault, obviously. And we go get a coffee. She tells me she's just broken up with her longtime boyfriend. I lie about my mental state. We, we go on for a bit. Um, we, we end up in sort of like a montage where like an early 2000s band plays because it's the only music I listen to. It's probably something like Save Tonight by Eagle Eye Cherry. Or Backstreet's Back. Not because it fits the theme, just because it's an awesome song. Um, no, no, so we go into this montage where I'm open, helping her open her quirky bakery. And she's helping me get over my tremendous amount of mental issues. Because Hollywood's taught me that's an equal trade. Um, and then and then, and then we come to the crux of the issue, like the bit where like the music stops and we're having a serious talk. I'm like, oh, my father's in the hospital. She's like, you have to go see him. I'm like, nah. <laughs> we, we, we end up having a fight and I, and I walk out and, and then on the way like to my house, I see lots of things that remind me of my father. 
like a child left alone in the brain <laughs> or a child being left as collateral at a drug den <laughs> or a child being left as collateral at a brothel <laughs> both the <are> true stories <laughs> um, and then, then I decide to go see him in hospital and he's lying there on his deathbed and he's all like Kegan, you finally become the man I knew you could and I look down at him and I'm just like <laughs> Did you go see your father? I'm like, yeah, it's all resolved. <laughs> um, and, then, and then it sort of fades out to, to the credits, and and I've gotten away with murder twice. <laughs> the, the first one was my daughter. <laughs> and then and then so so like, but flashback to what's actually happening in reality is I'm just standing here, kind of like <laughs> she's still on the ground because <laughs> this is happening very quickly in my brain and. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, oh, I have no actual ideas of what to do. My brain is just scrambling, and mostly it's just white noise. And then a voice comes through. I've got an idea. <laughs> this is the voice I usually don't trust. I know it's the. They all sound like me, but this one sort of is more suave and a douchebag. <laughs> and so I'm like, this one time I'll trust you. And basically, I look down at her. I go beep, and I walked away as fast as I could. 